is going on everybody it's your boy the slap train welcome back guys to the channel today now last night we had project cars get dropped on us for xbox one now i wanted to quickly show you guys the pc version which you guys are watching right now and kind of compare it to the xbox one i know there was a lot of questions floating around you know is it going to be the same how's it going to feel compared to the xbox one and i played it for about three and a half to four hours last night on xbox one so i have a pretty good grasp at what this game is looking at for the future now right now you guys are watching some 1m sliding on the pc i got the cars to slide and really quickly about that uh there is a gentleman on youtube named spitzy now this man throws it down every day with his wheel set up i will leave a link to his video he actually has one set up on the california highway with the mercedes-benz 300 sel and he is absolutely murdering those sections now i have found that there is certain tuning setups that do work i'll be doing lots of videos on those to show you guys you know what works for me what does not but there is a definite light for drifting in the game i feel like it's going to be something that we're going to be able to to actually do but the only problem though is the car list now we don't have too many cars that can actually do this i mean mind you we have a lot of the gt3 gt4 spec vehicles but i just don't feel like they're going to be able to slide like the sls's and the mercedes benz are going to now really quickly though i wanted to show you guys one race here mazda laguna raceway this is with the bmw gt4 v8 pushing around 400 horsepower and i wanted to post my best lap i ran a couple laps this was lap six right here and i gotta say the game felt incredible on pc when i first played it over the weekend it was absolutely beautiful force feedback felt great um i mean even better than forza i mean this game is absolutely ridiculous with a wheel setup you know you feel every bump every little you know kind of dip in the road you can feel the car bottoming out when you do come into these corners and it's just absolutely insane if you're playing with a full headset you know wheel package and the whole thing now i wanted to kind of compile a good and bad list for the console version now um the pc compared to the xbox one feels identical now i say this in every sense of the way the wheel you know the way that the cars drive all the tuning aspects of the game they are virtually identical and i was not expecting that coming in i felt it was going to be a completely different feel don't ask me why i just felt because it's a different platform that it would have just handled differently but everything felt the same i was very very impressed with that and now console version now has one of the best games on console to date and yes i'm talking about forza 5 i feel like this game is head over heels better than forza 5 in terms of you know the physics aspect and you know just overall the racing feel and in depth that we've been looking for in an actual racing game so forza 6 oh man forza 6 is probably sweating right now you know the game developers have been playing this probably are looking at it and you know seeing what we need to now do for forza 6 coming out in november hopefully that's that's the plan anyways now we finish that lap with a 135.8 ladies and gentlemen feel free to try this yourself bmw gt4 car um post up your best lap times ladies and gentlemen post them up that was about eight laps that took me to do and i mean this thing's pretty damn tough man it's a lot of fun driving these cars but there is a satisfaction level when you actually get to complete a full lap and you know just no mistakes whatsoever it feels incredible man i could not believe how good this game felt on the wheel now if you guys do not know i have the thrustmaster gt28 rim i have the tx base with the wheel stand pro th8a shifter and the t3pa pedals now as i said i got this game last night at 12 o'clock on the dot man xbox was money last night and it just worked everything worked i was pretty damn hyped and thankfully because i was waiting for this at midnight so it wasn't like you know hopefully it doesn't come out at you know 1 30 they were on the dot eastern standard time 12 o'clock this game was out slightly mad studios my hat is off for one hell of a game as i said i played this for about three and a half hours and this was my good and my bad list for the game now as i said the force feedback felt identical what i did like as well too um we played right away online we played online because there's no career progression that i felt that was necessary for me to play there is no reward system in the game and that's one of the things that i feel like 
definitely needs addressing or you know something that could have been changed for the final product of the game. I just feel like there's nothing to keep us playing the game other than our own lap times and I would have liked to see maybe something to do with the career you know something whether it be you know we get money um, we have some type of dollar amount that we're getting per race to use that maybe for liveries something but there's just no reward system in the game and I feel like that is key for you know keeping the longevity of a game strong um, I did like the fact that menus tuning aspects they were all identical coming over to the console version everything from PC was identical to console and I was not ready for that I really was I thought it was gonna be a whole new aspect I will say though that the menus did get a little confusing right off the bat especially with the wheel um, it did work without an issue I had no problems with the wheel whatsoever uh, but the only thing like I said though was just you know the actual learning curve of getting these menus down where you didn't have to you know think oh my god what am I doing this and that uh, but there was a learning curve to the menus once you got it though it was on point the menus are so easy to navigate you use your pedals you use your paddle shifters on the wheel and everything is money now have a quick look at this livery here I found this last night playing around it's a Thrustmaster TX racing wheel design on oh my god I love it man the liveries are huge there's a lot of liveries on this game um, and I mean there's just there's endless liveries man I was going through I just couldn't go through enough liveries to get them all and what I did like about it was that it gave you a choice for random which essentially I do like because you're not gonna be driving the same vehicle over and over again um, now as I said the servers when we played online there was virtually no lag for the people that lived in North America that I was with there was a little bit of lag for people overseas and that's obviously something that's gonna happen all the time I did get to create some of my own menus as well too or sorry my own lobbies they felt smooth there was no issues with connectivity uh, nothing like that we did have a little bit of party chat issue going forward to the end of the night but I mean that's that's an Xbox issue man we know that we know that now the physics, as I said, are identical to the console version. It felt great, you know, you felt every bump on the wheel, and it just was beautiful. I did like the addition of button mapping as well too. This is the first console game, I believe, that actually let us button map each and every button on our wheel, which is huge, man. That means that I can, you know, change things and tailor them to what I like, including my left and right D-pad is now look left and look right on the wheel, which I've been asking for for so damn long, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Now, our first race, we did take to Willow Springs. This is our very first race, ladies and gentlemen. It didn't go the greatest. And you guys, we all jumped the damn pit. Oh my god. We all jumped it, ladies and gentlemen. It was absolutely terrible. We were all sitting there like, oh my god, man. So once we got all lined back up, we were ready to race again. And it was an experience, man. We had the rain set on us. We wanted to make sure that everything was in this as well as the PC. And the rain, the weather were all the same, man. I cannot believe that they were able to put in the thunderstorms, you know, the fog, the haze, all that thing on the PC is the same on console. And I was not expecting that. And I know I keep saying it, but I really wasn't. You know, right before the game came out, we were all kind of thinking, um, you know, are we going to get the same weather? Are we going to get the same tuning aspects? You know, what is it going to be different? And it turned out there was nothing different whatsoever. So it was definitely a huge relief to know that, you know, this game has got some life in it. And I, oh man, I cannot wait to just get lost in the tuning. There's a lot of tuning on this game. Um, it's just, oh my god, man. There's a lot and a lot of tuning. And I know a lot of people were a little bit disappointed at the lack of vehicles in the game. But you've got to be happy and excited about the amount of tuning options that are in the game and trying to fight for that next lap and just trying to get those better lap times each and every lap because that's what this game is about is chasing your own lap times and you know chasing those leaderboards and just overall clean racing and trying to you know move up that next level and that's something that I would like for them maybe to introduce is something where we be actually get rewarded for driving more and such like that. Now you guys like that little left hand pass right there. We ended up getting an achievement for that right there. On your left, that's for lapping somebody. Appreciate it, you know? Oh my God. But as I said though, absolutely beautiful game. The sounds are on point. 
We ended up taking it to California Highway for the next race. Thankfully, nobody jumped it. We didn't get any penalties on that. We did get some time in the go-karts as well, too. That was absolutely ridiculous on Chesterfield. Um, just, we had 15 laps going, and it was just, oh my god, man. It was absolutely beautiful. If you guys have not picked this game up yet, I really don't know what you're doing right now, man. Go and get it. You're going to miss, unfortunately, the pre-order bonus packs, but they should be coming out uh, hopefully pretty soon. Or you can go to your local GameStop, and they may have some left over that they can print you off. Now, the bad for this game, and there's not a lot of it. There isn't really a lot. The bad that I wrote down for this game, um, when you are in your own lobbies online, you cannot go in reverse. So I'm talking tracks like Road Atlanta, Silverstone National, all of our drifting tracks that we usually do our sections with, you can't do them in reverse. Now mind you, you can throw on as many laps as you like, but there is no option to go in reverse. So I'd like to see something like that maybe get changed. One of the biggest problems that we've been hearing is the sound audio glitch that a lot of players are getting. Uh, if you guys do not know what it is, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, it's it's a little damn annoying. There was a couple people that I was playing with last night that were just almost fed up with it. So I'm hoping that Slightly Mad Studios comes out with an update very soon this week. You know, maybe discussing that sound audio glitch because I know there's a lot of people that are having issues with that. And this is the jump right here. Oh my god, I could not believe it when I took flight. I was literally just hoping that we were going to hit the ground. And, you know, keep going and not just spin ourselves out. Unfortunately, we slammed the wall at the very end of it. But that's what you get, man. You pay for this game for not stopping. And I got to say, I'd rather break a little bit early on this game than hit the wall and lose the entire race. So I got to say, man, this game is going to definitely improve myself for my own driving. You know, lap times as well, too. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, as I said, the other bad in the game, there's no reward system. I'd like to see them maybe come out with something where we can maybe battle through the ranks, have our own kind of ranking system ourselves, something like that, just to keep ourselves excited about playing the game and just overall doing these tracks over and over again. Now, the card list, as I said, is lacking, but I feel like with a season pass, we're going to get a lot more vehicles to come in. Maybe, say, five cars a month times that by, say, six. You got yourself a couple nice cars in those packs. So I'm hoping that we're going to see a car pass get implemented within the next couple of days. You know, maybe have them make an announcement on Twitter, on their website, just saying what's going to be in those next couple packs. Um, but I'd like to definitely see something come out sooner than, say, later. Now, as I did say as well, too, the menus are tough to get used to. But once you do, though, it is a solid viewing aspect man it's very easy and this was the backwards thing that i was telling you guys about it just spawned you right back we were killing that corner and it said no sir you're gonna go back and finish the damn race the right way so it was a little frustrating unfortunately but that's what happens man you gotta go straight but i'm hoping that they can fix that and you know maybe let us go backwards on some of the tracks even in the practice modes it didn't let us now you are able to tune as well too as you're playing in those practice modes so that was huge but as I said though, it just would not let us go backwards. Um, we didn't have any controller support when the wheel was plugged in. And I think that's huge for myself, um, especially because you're only using the wheel now. There is nothing to do with the controller. And that's really about it, man. The graphics downgrade for the Xbox One, obviously that's as, I mean, that's a given in any aspect. We knew the PC was going to be better than the Xbox One in terms of graphics. As I said though, this game is absolutely unbelievable. If you guys have not picked it up, go and grab it. We're going to be doing lots of Project Car videos, lots of open lobbies and such. I may be streaming today as well too, so make sure you guys keep a lock on my Twitter. Um, I'm kind of debating if I want to stream today or put up another video at 4, but I will say though, you could see both, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys very much for watching today. If you guys did end up beating my GT4 time with the BMW, tweet me your photos on Twitter at slap underscore train. I'll be seeing you guys on the track 100% on Project Cars. I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by today. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Become a member of Team Slap today to start spinning some damn rubber with us. As well, too, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box down below. Ladies and gentlemen, Project Cars here first on the channel today for the morning. Oh my god, man. It's gonna be a good damn month today, man. Oh jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, your motor slap train. I'm out.
Peace. Oh my god. What is going on everybody? It's your boy Slide Train and welcome back guys. 